Hello and welcome to day five of our five days to farewell 2019, our last day together. My goodness, the last five days have gone really quickly. Um, thank you for being with me and sharing this space. I really appreciate your commitment to yourself and for what you've brought to the community this week. So thank you. I hope yesterday after releasing 2019, you're feeling really fresh and open and ready to welcome in the new year and welcome in the new decade. So today is all about welcoming in 2020. So if you've been working along with essential oils with me, today's blend is Chia, the uplifting blend. Um, you can also use your wild orange or any other um, essential oil that you feel is uplifting for you. So same as always, just a drop. Hang on, we're nearly out of this one. Um, just a drop into the palm of your hand, rubbing them together. And taking in some nice long, slow, deep breaths. Of course, if you've got a diffuser, you can also diffuse the oils that way as well, if, you're, if that's what you're doing. So grab yourself a cuppa, grab your journal, grab a pen, and make yourself really, really comfortable because what we're going to do today is actually do some visioning um, for the year ahead. Not to the point, we're not setting goals. I'm so done with setting goals. What I like to do is set, um, intentions, I like to look at my core desire feelings, I like to paint a picture rather than get caught up in the nitty gritty detail of setting goals and expectations on myself of how things will happen. Um, so maybe that will work for you, maybe you're a goals person, whatever. You know, like I said yesterday, there's no right and wrong way. If you feel you need to go off and set yourself some goals, by all means, please go and do that. But um, what I wanted to share with you today was just, I've got some prompts here for you um, to write on in your journal. So the first one I've got is, what do you want your new year to look like? What do you want 2020 to be? So quite often we can get all caught up in the hype of, you know, new year, new me, things are gonna change. And we think we're gonna make all these massive changes and be this brand new person. And then a few days into the new year, we're find, finding that the resolution we set, you know, we're not sticking to them because they're not realistic. Um, and so quite often people fail or their resolutions are just out there and they don't stick to them. So have a look at your year. What do you want it to look like? You know, what do you picture yourself doing? And who are you doing it with? You know, are you with a new group of people? Are you in a new community? Are you with a community you've already been in? What are you doing? What does it look like? You know, how are you carving out time for yourself? Um, how are you spending your time and who are you spending it with most importantly? And then how are you allocating time for you to be you and check in with yourself and where you're at? Because I find what happens is the more time we spend with others and the less time we spend with ourselves is the more, well, for me personally, the more inauthentic I become. I start merging into the group collective rather than me as a person. So I've really stepped away from hanging out with big groups of people because it's not my thing. I personally benefit from being on my own so much more. Such an introvert, I know, but, you know, it's, been, it's through being on my own and spending time and being comfortable in being myself that I've really grown and flourished in that way. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, and then you might wanna have a look at your intentions for 2020. What are you, set your intention. So how do you want things to be? How, how do you wanna feel? Um, what kind of activities are you incorporating? You know, are you intending to eat better? Are you intending to move your body more? Is there excess weight that you're carrying that you no longer require and you would like that to leave? You don't need to lose it because when we lose things, they find us again. Um, you know, like seriously, you don't need to lose weight. It just needs to go if that's something that's of importance for you. You know, it's all in our perceptions and how we choose to look at things and language things and everything. And again, that's a whole other conversation. 
So what are your intentions? Okay, and it's not about new year, new me, it's just soft, gentle things for you. Which leads me into then, how do you wanna feel? What feelings do you wanna experience on a daily basis? Now there's a whole program around this that Danielle Laporte has created and it's called the Desire Map. I'm a facilitator of that program. That's a whole other conversation, but if that's piqued your interest, just reach out and we'll have a conversation as to how that may work for you. But I found personally working with my core desired feelings helps keep me in alignment. So for 2020, my words are ease, grace, connection, and authenticity. I came up with a little mantra back in 2017, I think it was, ease and grace through connection and authenticity. And it stuck with me. And when I sat down to do my quarters, I had feelings the other week, I couldn't. Um, they were still there. They're still really important to me. So if I can't do something with ease. And if I cannot do it gracefully, if there's no authenticity and if there's not a connection, then it's not for me. Whereas if I am meeting all of those things, then yes, it's great. So have a think about how you want to feel every day because then we can start to make choices in our day-to-day -day lives around those feelings that we want to generate. And then you might want to have a think about, well, what are my priorities going to be for 2020? Am I going to focus more on my health? Am I going to focus more on my spirituality? Am I going to prioritise my relationships with my loved ones, with my partner, with myself, with my children? What are your priorities? What is going to make it to the top of the list this year for you? And only you will know that answer. And then you might want to think about some things like, what are you going to do for fun this year? What are you going to do for adventure, for play, for exercise? Or how are you going to move your body? How are you going to connect with that physical body of yours, that vehicle that gets you from A to B to Z every single day and back? How are you going to connect with that? How are you going to take care of it? What are you going to do to move it? What are you going to do to nourish it? And what are you going to do for creativity? How are you going to let that expression out from the inside out? What are you going to do for that? What are you going to do for connection? How are you going to connect to yourself, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your kids, your community? How are you going to connect? What are you going to do? with your time? How are you going to spend it? Are you going to start waking up earlier? Or are you going to continue to set the alarm clock and be woken up by that each day? No right, no wrong, it's just whatever works for you. How are you going to connect with yourself and your intuition and start listening to that inner voice more and be guided by that? Who is your support network? Who have you got that you can go to on those days that you don't feel great and the world's turned to shit and you can't see past that in the moment, who is there that's got your back, who will hold your hand, who will let you get it all off your chest and say, hey, come on, pick yourself up. Tomorrow's a brand new day and you wait for a new opportunity to start again. Who's going to be there for you? And what's your plan for dealing with your challenges and your obstacles? Because we know that they are going to happen. We don't know what they're going to be, but if we know how we might handle things when they crop up, it will make them a little easier to deal with when they do happen. Because trust me, they will happen. So that should keep you busy for a little while. You might want to do a couple of those things. You might want to do all of it. You know me, whatever works for you is the right thing for you. I'm not a guru, I'm not here to tell you that your life will change by doing all these things. I don't know if they will, they may, you don't know. Um, but just do what feels comfortable, do what you can in the moment. Don't feel pressured to have to do more than you are capable of doing because why bother if it doesn't feel good to do it. So that wraps up day five our five days to farewell. So we've been through quite a lot over the five days. We had a look at our highlights. We looked at our road bumps and challenges. 
we looked at our gifts and what we were grateful for. Day four, we released 2019. And day five, we wel are welcoming 2020. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about in regards to that. So um, where to from here? So if you've not already jumped over and have liked my page, that's a great way to keep in contact with me. Um, I'm really excited to announce that as of late January, early February, I will be available two days a week. I've secured a little room that I can work out of. Um, I, if you don't know, I'm a life coach, holistic counsellor. I'm a Reiki practitioner. I also do the beautiful aroma touch as well. So if you're looking for a hand to get your head around a few things in 2020, um, give me a shout. There'll be some packages and things and some opening specials come through. I haven't quite got that nutted out yet, but as they do, that will be put through onto my Facebook page. Um, with that as well, the Inspired Sister Circle is making a comeback. Hooray! Um, that was a really beautiful little community we had in 2017, 2018. And I'm feeling a real call now that I'm in a much better place to bring that back to the community. And that will be a small intimate circle, maximum of eight women meeting on the Sunday closest to the new moon each month. So keep an eye out for more of that. Um, also, I will be running more little workshops. So like the Find Your Light Within workshop, which had been really popular in the past. I just couldn't find a suitable venue to work out of, but now I've found something. So more of those will be coming. They've been popular with helping women to, <coughs> pardon me, um, reconnect with their passion and purpose in life and really find that light that is within us. I've seen some beautiful things come from the women who've attended those workshops with me. And again, small, intimate. I'm not about the big, huge numbers. So six to eight max for those. Um, if you have an interest in essential oils, learning more about them, um, let me know. I'll have some classes coming up in the new year as well. Probably a couple of park dates with school holidays coming up. Um, well, we're in the midst of school holidays. Oh, my goodness. Another four weeks to go. But, um, yeah, if that's of interest to you and you'd like to know more, just shoot me a message and um, I can hook you up with some samples. We can catch up for a couple and, yeah, I can teach you more about them. And because, honestly, I'd be totally lost if I didn't have those in my life. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for spending these five days with me. It's been an absolute honour to create and hold this space for you to work through the five days. I wish you an absolutely amazing year for 2020, however you choose to spend it. And I really look forward to hearing what happens for you. So please keep in touch. No doubt I'll run another one of these next year as well. But in the meantime, if you need anything, if you've got any questions, send me a message and I'll be more than happy to help you out. See you next year.